Thursday, August 8th, 2019. 19-year-old Israeli yeshiva student slain in West Bank attack. A 19-year-old yeshiva student, Devir Sorek, has been identified as the Israeli soldier who was murdered on Thursday in a West Bank terror attack. Zorek was stabbed to death when he was making his way home to the settlement of Afra from Jerusalem. The Israeli army is looking into whether Zorek was killed as part of a failed kidnapping attempt. Pakistan downgraded its diplomatic ties with nuclear-armed rival India on Wednesday. British Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab said the UK is prepared to leave the European Union by October, even if they are unable to reach a final deal with their neighboring countries. In private conversation, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he won't challenge his ties with ultra-Orthodox parties. Ukrainian leader urges Russia's Putin to help end fighting. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said he called Russian President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday to urge him help halt fighting in eastern Ukraine. The Kremlin said in its take on the call that Putin emphasized that the Ukrainian troops should stop shelling residential areas since that results in civilian casualties. Zelensky says he expects to speak with the President of France and Germany's Chancellor later in the day to push for a meeting with them and Putin to search for a peaceful settlement in eastern Ukraine. As white supremacist violence surges, a major hub for American intelligence has quietly expanded its focus on domestic terrorism. A house explosion in Ohio is being investigated as a hate crime after investigators found racial slurs and a swastika on the home's garage and two of a neighbor's cars. U.S. immigration officials raided numerous Mississippi food processing plants on Wednesday, arresting 600 mostly Latino workers. Trump visits Dayton and El Paso. President Trump landed in El Paso on Wednesday afternoon to try to console a city reeling from tragedy, but was greeted by protesters. The White House had signaled that Mr. Trump would play the traditional role of healer-in-chief on Wednesday, issuing photo ops in favor of private sessions with emergency and hospital workers and victims of the shootings. But Mr. Trump proved unwilling to completely refrain from his usual combative style, tweeting attacks on the Democratic mayor of Dayton and a Democratic senator on his way from El Paso to Dayton. An Iowa man accused of making threatening and anti-Semitic calls to a New York City Jewish organization was released on a $50,000 bond. Nearly two dozen people were hurt when officials say a backfiring motorcycle sent people running for their lives in Times Square, mistaking it for a mass shooting. Assembly Speaker Carl Heasty threw cold water on talk of legislation that would charge thugs with a felony for drenching cops with buckets of water or other substances.